Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will give you one of the best, the best trading advice I wish I knew when I started trading years ago. So if you're one of those people who, whenever you place a trade, you feel that it all immediately goes against you. Whenever you place a trade, you feel that it immediately brings you losses. In this video, we're gonna fix that. So I'm gonna share you the biggest trading advice I wish really I knew years ago. Uh, if I knew these things that we're gonna talk about right now, I, I would be able to avoid so, much, so many losses, okay? So many losing trades. So we're gonna fix that in this video. So make sure you watch this video until the end and let's get started. Absolutely and totally, yes. So first things first, okay? If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel and uh, also share my channel to anybody who is willing to become successful online trader from home. And by being successful, I don't mean just winning one day and losing the second day. By being successful, it means being able to generate profits uh, from Monday to Friday, okay? Uh, and uh, the thing is, is that so many people are kind of, you know, underestimating, you know, when they, play, when they start looking at the charts, uh, I noticed that so many newbie traders uh, don't know the concept of what you need to do before you actually look for the trade. Before you do, uh, you know, before you look at the, before you look at the charts and trying to figure out where to place trade and why. Before, before you do that, you need to, you know, you need to understand a few very important things. First of all, before you trade. No matter what asset, no matter what security, no matter what time frame and what charts you look at, you need to know what is the trend, okay? That's step number one. You need to know what is the trend on any on the asset you want to trade. For example, what is this? USD CAD and what is the trend, okay? For this I can see that there is a huge, huge, huge <laughs> downtrend already for a long time. Then what do we see? We see that the price has consolidated in here. So this is our very, very important support zone. Then what we see, we see that from this point forward, price is going where? No magic, it's going up, right? So when we break down this chart to a next time frame, which, which, which is how we usually conduct our analysis, we can be a little bit more specific. So we can see that from uh, since summer, uh, the trend for this particular asset is has been pretty, pretty, you know, um, pretty bullish, okay? However, when we zoom out, we can see that it's actually, uh, it has touched this very, very important key level and which has been broken. And basically speaking from this point forward, as we can see, the price is kind of falling off. So to find a trend, you don't need to be a professional trader. You can also use a couple of indicators. So also by naked trading, you can use triangular and, and you know, uh, trading patterns. Uh, and trend lines. However, you can also use 200 EMA, okay? For example, 200 EMA is already suggesting that price touching this very, very important key level. So if we see new four hour candle below this one, we can actually jump in and make a nice, nice, beautiful sell, sell trade. However, we can also use EMA 10 and EMA 20 or moving average 365 and 180 and whenever we see crossover we you know that's gonna determine our trend and i'm sure i'm i made many many trend and trading videos but before we jump into the trade we need to know what is the trend then when we know what's the trend what do we do next we need to know if it's bullish or bearish or if it's ranging with that we just talked about then what we need to know after we know what is the trend uh so for example this one would be my uh, sell trade okay uh, because it's it's falling off uh, this uh, upward momentum uh, after that we need to ask the question okay is it a, uh, so if it's a bullish or if it's a, if it's a ranging or if it's a bearish trend then we need to ask the question is the price at the support if the if the trend is bullish okay uh, if the if the trend is sideways or ranging okay we need to ask the question wait uh, where is the breakout okay if the, is there any breakout that will you know that will happen anytime soon if the trend is bearish you know going down uh, then we need to ask the question is the price at the resistance so let's go back to this usd cat example and here we can see that this is our clear clear resistance okay so we know that whenever price is gonna come up here 
you know, uh, we only knew it that if the price, you know, it comes here, it could back go, go, go back down. If it breaks out here, it can stay there for some while. And then if it's breaking again, it's going down. And now we can see that this resistance has been touched and the price is falling. And now we can actually see that there is a support, okay? So support and resistance. So this support level, as we can see, is very important. Let's color it uh, green. So now what we see, we see an extremely important picture. When we see new 4 hour, if we see new 4 hour candle uh, below this uh, exact 1.25672, boom, we make sell trade and we would make nice, nice gains from the sell trade and we would take our money at the next uh, lower key level, which would be here. Uh, you know, but all of this will be only under, you know, we will only know this when we know the trend. So, uh, Next one, if the support, if if the price is at support, what do we do? Uh, wait for the breakout. Uh, and if the surprise is at the resistance, what do we do? So let me just show you the full picture so you don't get confused. So first, we wait for a trend. If it's a bullish, uh, bearish or ranging, okay? If it's a bullish, look if it's a touching support. If the trend is ranging, wait for it, you know, to break out from support or resistance, okay? If the price is bearish, Okay, then you need to ask the question, is the price at the resistance? Okay, uh, like we just saw in this example. So then, if the price is at support on a bullish trend, yes, then what do we do? We buy, if the price is not as, at support, okay, if, if it's not touching at support, then what do we do? We simply don't trade. Next one, okay, if the price is bearish, going down, and is the, is the price touching support at the bearish trend? Yes. If yes, then we sell. We look for selling opportunities. We look for sale orders. We, look, we are looking and we are, in, we are placing pending sale orders. Okay. If it's not, then what do we do? We don't trade. Simple as it is. Simple mathematics, baby. And uh, now let's just bit. Okay, that was just a little tweak. Okay, now let's go to the details. Ask the question, you know. Where, in which time zone do you live? What time of the day do you trade? Each trading sessions are very, very different. My favorites are London trading sessions and New York trading sessions. However, I look at this timetable right here and ask the question, okay, which is your time zone when you trade? And then you can develop the trading strategy based on your time zone when you trade. However, now let's dig into deeper, okay? So uh, the seven things that you need to remember always, you know. So first things first, okay? Always trade with the trend, okay? Always trade with the trend. So here we identify the trend is falling down. So we would look for sale opportunities. We would not look for uh, buy opportunities. So I would look for sale in here, okay? And I would take my profit, uh, you know, I would take a look at, I would take a look at my, um, you know, at, at the momentum. So your take profit uh, should be twice your, uh, twice your stop loss, twice your risk. But again, whenever you place the trade, always, you know, uh, look at the momentum, look at the trade. Don't just open a trade now and then go away for several days. It's not a gambling. We are looking for trading opportunities and we are making money from those opportunities whenever they represent themselves to us. So always trade with the trend, uh, always calculate your risk reward ratio before entering trade, okay? So calculate your risk reward ratio uh, before you're entering the trade. So you know, you know, you should always know where to exit a trade if you are wrong and where to exit a trade if you are right. Then the trade only when the markets are highly liquid, which is most of the time uh, in the forex markets. So. Make sure that you, you know, you know that markets are most liquid at this uh, market opens. Okay, so whenever these markets are opening, uh, yeah, European markets, New York, Sydney, or Tokyo, you know, these uh, these are very very uh, liquid, you know, very very volatile market hours for these for these asset pairs. So GBP, US, AUD, and JPY. Okay. Then uh, trade only when the yeah always use stop loss. Well, that's understandable. You should always use stop loss when you enter the trade. Let your profit run. So if you enter the trade, then if you see that profits are being profits are running, 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 your profits are running nicely, and you see huge, huge, you know, like uh, red candles going your way, going your way, making even more money. 
You should not just immediately close your trade. Let the profits run. And then when you break down your charts to smaller time frames, which will show you the reversals, then yeah, then you can exit your trade. But if you are making money, you know, continuously from that trade, keep your profits, keep your, uh, let your profits run. Now, next one, number, uh, number one, two, three, four, five, six, okay. Uh, set and keep to maximum daily stop amount, okay. Uh, well, uh, realistically, you should not place more than five to six trades a day. Uh, set and keep to a maximum daily loss amount, after which you must stop trading, okay. So if you lost uh, two, two, two to three trades, one after another, that day, stop immediately. Go away, come back the next day. Don't try to fight, you know, your, your, your losses. If you want to get your money back as much as possible, and if you are fighting to your losses to get back the losing money, it means your, you know, your mindset is going to be set to gambling, you know, to fighting mode, and uh, it's not going to work out because market will always put you in place. No matter what, no matter how smart you think you are, market will put you in place, always. Now, and the last one, never quit. And always remember to always learn from your mistakes to improve. And how do we learn from mistakes? How, what do we do? First of all, we record our trades, okay? So uh, your wins and losses should be recorded either in your written notepad, if you, if you are like me, who can't remember stuff, only if, if I write it down by my hand then I can remember stuff. Uh, or you, have your, you should have your spreadsheet. So make sure you, uh, you, you learn from your mistakes. So if you have researched some sort of strategy, you know, uh, and you believe that this strategy is good, but when you place one trade, you lost. You know, some people immediately think that that strategy is bad and useless and you should throw it in a bin, but that's not the case, okay? You need to, you need to, don't quit, okay, on your strategy, you know? Practice it, practice it, practice it, okay? For at least a couple of weeks. And then if you really are not able to, you know, generate any positive pips, you know, uh, from your strategies, then you can change your strategy. But don't keep changing your strategy. Keep the strategy, you know, develop your training plan and keep the same strategies, you know, over time, which you will, you know, master and practice all, you know, from time to day, from, from, from day to day, on day to day basis. And always record your mistakes and always, what's the best thing that I'm always telling people, okay? Always have all of your trades, you know, down. If you want to trade, ask the question and look, why did you win that trade and learn from it? And, but if you lost the trade, also write it down and ask the question, why did you lose that trade and learn from it? I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe and contact me if you need help in trading. Trade safely, trade responsibly. You're welcome to join my academy and, and uh, copy my trades from my signals group every single day from Monday to Friday. But always remember, education and practice is the key for long-term success. And long-term success is being profitable from day-to-day -day basis. Not just winning one day and losing another day. Being profitable from day-to-day -day basis in order to generate a full-time income and above. I love you all. I know. Bye-bye. Um, and uh, Blackie is still sleeping. Bye-bye. <laughs> I love you all. Bye-bye.